everyone. I'm so glad that you could make it to yet another Read Aloud. I hope you all are staying safe at home, following the rules, staying strong and most importantly staying positive. It is very important that we look and think of the small things that make us happy in these tough times. We're all in this together. Well, on a lighter note, let's get talking about the story we are going to read today. Today's story is a fun and silly story about an alligator. This alligator loves to scare all the tiny creatures living in the forest. However, he has a secret, quite a big secret. Shall we find out what that secret is? So, Without any further ado, let's get straight to our story for the day. Alan's Big Scary Teeth by Jarvis Alan's Big Scary Teeth Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It was what he did best. Alan would start each day, polishing his scales, sharpening his nails, and brushing each of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, uh. He'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. Alan went snap, snap, and grr, grr. He said things like I am Big Scary Alan. Fear my razor sharp teeth. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees, and the parrots screech in terrible. Terror. Snap, snap. Eek. Ah. Squack. Woo, ha, ha, ha. I love being scary, laughed Alan. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp. Relax, finish the crosswords in the jungle times. And... Take out his false teeth. Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night, teeth. Sweet dreams, my scary snappers. Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret 
hiding place. One morning, Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. Phew, that was close, thought Diary, just as a set of false teeth fell out of a bush with a very familiar snap snap. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth! My teeth! Where are my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from trees and the parrots screech. With laughter. Alan just wasn't very scary without his teeth. Snap, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Alan slunk back to the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he had ever known. What would Alan do now? Poor Alan began to cry, just a bit at first. But then the tears kept coming. He howled and yowled more than all the jungle babies put together. And he could not stop crying. Next morning, all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said the frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot, you have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said the frog. And so, every day, after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener. Alan the hairdresser. And Alan the dentist. But every night he became Alan the big scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. Wa ha ha ha! I love being scary, laughed Alan. And sometimes, he even let Barry borrow his teeth. Grrr. I hope you all enjoyed that story. Wasn't it such a fun, silly and light story to read? 
I enjoy reading such stories. But do you guys think that there is a deeper lesson to learn from this story? What could that be? Let's take a moment to think about that. Alan came from a long line of scary alligators. Do you think Alan felt the pressure to be as scary as his other family members? Have you felt like that? Have you felt that just because your sibling or your cousins or your other relatives are good at doing something, you also have to be good at that? It could be anything. It could be art, it could be craft, it could be dancing, studies, absolutely anything. It's not a very nice feeling to feel, correct? And what happens when Alan's big secret comes out? How do all the animals react? Yes, initially all of them laugh at Alan and make him feel a little bad. But when these animals find out how hurt and deeply sad Alan is, don't they come together and help Alan find out alternative ways to use his big scary teeth? And how interesting is it that in the end of the story, Alan still gets to do the one thing that he truly loves. And that is being scary. But this time around, does he hurt anyone by being scary? No, he doesn't. He takes the negative quality of scaring people and makes it something fun by telling scary stories. See, we have so many lessons to learn even from such a light and funny story. Anyway, let's get to our activity. So, for today's activity, I thought we should try our hand at some craft work. So today, we are going to create our own puppet alligator. Now, to create our puppet alligator, you will require these articles. You will require a full size paper of absolutely any color. If you have green, please go ahead and use it. If you don't, Please feel free to use any color full size paper available to you. You will also require a white paper, but you don't need a full sheet of white paper. You just need some scraps of paper to make the eyes and the teeth of your alligator. You will also require a glue stick, a pair of scissors and a marker, a sketch pen, or even a pencil will do. So, let's get to it. Alright, now that we have gotten all our materials, we are ready to start. First, start by folding the paper in half. Open the paper up. You will see a line running in the middle. Now, fold the paper towards the line in the middle. Fold the other side. Open the paper up. Now you should be able to see four different parts to the paper. Now cut one part out. You should be left with three parts to your paper. Your paper should look like this. Fold it once again. Take your glue stick. Put glue on the folded flap of your paper. Fold the other flap in. 
pressing it down on the glue. Now we put the glue on so that it does not open up again. Now you, as you can see there is a, it's like a tube. It's hollow inside. Now fold this into half. Fold it one more time upwards. But turn the paper around, fold the other part, your paper should look like this. Now take the other piece of paper that you have cut previously, place it on top of your folded paper. Now be careful, measure. Measure how long you want the strip of paper to be. Now fold it up like this. Put it down again. So now you can see the line that has formed on the paper. Fold it down making a small little flap like this can you see it yes that's the flap you have created now take your glue stick put glue on any one side of the paper it does not matter place your paper on it make sure that your flap the little bended paper that you have stands up that is going to be the face of your alligator that is where you're going to spread uh, stick the eyes of your alligator all right so now your paper should look like this now do you know the fan fold how you fold the paper to create a fan you have to fold it inside and out, inside, and out, inside, and out, inside, and out. When you open it up, it looks like this, almost like staircase. Now take your scissors and cut in a way that the one end of your paper is narrower than the other end so basically it should look like an alligator if you remember an alligator's tail is pointy towards the end so your alligator's tail should also look pointy like this now for the eyes and teeth take a piece of paper, white paper preferably white because then you know your eyes and the teeth will really stand out you can see it clearly Take a pencil and draw out your eyes. You can draw your eyes however you want. It can be simple black and white eyes. You can be as creative as you would like to be. Once you draw it out with a pencil, you also go ahead and draw out the teeth for your alligator. Remember, the teeth are very important. Remember our story, how proud Alan was of his sharp, white, shiny teeth? So draw two sets of teeth. One for the upper jaw and one for the lower jaw. Alright, so now over here, I have finished drawing my teeth and eyes. And I shall cut it out. Alright, so here is my finished cutouts. You can see there are my teeth, here are my teeth and here are my eyes, my googly eyes that I have cut out. I have colored the eyeballs black to make it look more realistic. Now take your alligator, 
first we'll stick the eyes you are going to stick the eyes on the flap that juts out yes the one that stands up a little that is the face of your alligator with the help of glue stick them nicely right now take the teeth now when you cut out the teeth please cut out a little extra uh paper with it so that you can fold it like this and press it down so the folded flap will go inside the alligator's mouth and the teeth will stand out straight same thing with the upper jaw fold the paper and stick the folded edge inside now very important an alligator cannot breathe without his nose so two dots or two lines to indicate our alligator's nose and there you have it our alligator is ready now you can put your two fingers inside the flap of your uh, alligator's mouth and it will you can use it as a puppet right there and there you have it your alligator is ready and voila your hand puppet alligator is ready i hope you all try your hand at this super fun and creative craft activity now while you do this craft act activity i also hope you'll do take out some time and think about the questions that i asked you at the end of the reading of our story if you would like to share your thoughts your feelings or your feedback with me please feel free to email them to me you can also leave your responses in the comment box below now if you do try this activity please 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 do not forget to take a picture and send it to me at sharonschool.library@gmail.com well that brings us to the end of another read aloud session i had so much fun reading this lovely story and doing this super fun craft activity i hope you all try your hand at it well until then see you Thank you for participating in the activity last week. Here are some of the images sent by students and a special entry by our very own Miss Vinita Pal.